Hello, I'm Monty Dom. As you all know, it's springtime here in the garden, and that means the perfect time for planting, planting perennials and annual baskets. This is a dogwood that I planted last year in my garden, and as you can see, it's already blooming out nicely in, what is it, oh, mid-April? I also, just for nice texture, added some columbines around it. You should always, always, and this is imperative, keep your soil nice and moist when you plant a tree. Within that first year, it needs a lot of nourishment. This is a compost bin, essential for any garden. So, you have all your table scraps and gardening waste like grass, bone grass, or you can do mulch if that's your thing. And after about a year you'll turn it over into a second bin. So this is what second bin compost should look like. It should be fairly brown and it can have a minimal amount of sticks and roots. That's okay. That will all be sifted out in a latter stage. If you want, you can even plant your potatoes in here while it's going, because this will take about a good two years. And then, finally, you will use a sifter like this to sift this dirt and get all the big sticks and gunk out of it. And so you can have fresh, fertile dirt for your compost bins. So these are some plants that I bought at my local gardening store the other day. This is one of my personal favourites, uh, Phlox Diracata or the common woodland phlox. It's one of my favourites because it has a nice, nice, lovely pale blue shade that just looks lovely in any shady garden. And that is important. You can only plant it in shade to partial shade. If you put, put it in sun, it'll dry out and be miserable. This is another one of my favourites, it's the lovely Centauria Montana, or as it's more commonly called, a bachelor's button. These flowers go, grow quite well in like light shade to part sun. Um, they look beautiful, they come in many vibrant colours, such as a white with a purple centre, or a nice blue with a purple centre. However, the colours of the flower will change depending on where you plant them, so that's something to be mindful of. This is a lovely pinky salmon rose that I transplanted last winter. So here's the thing about transplanting and pruning roses. So in the winter, about January through February, that is when you want to transplant and prune. But the thing is, when you're transplanting a rose, they can be very, very finicky. So no matter where you plant it, how exactly right you do things, sometimes it will just go and it will croak. But that's okay. If it works, it works. Great. If it doesn't, no harm done. You can go out, get another rose, try again next year. It really doesn't matter. You've done nothing wrong. Now, here's a lovely thing about gardening. It doesn't have to be just plants. You can do lovely, th lovely found objects, antiques. I recently stumbled upon a large uh, quarry of bricks, and these are old, beautiful, mossed over bricks that you can do a whole number of things with. You can build borders, you can build walls, you can build, I don't know, wood ovens. The, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want in your garden, and that's the beautiful thing about a garden. So that's all my first hand tips for gardens. And that's really the lovely thing about gardening. It's it's more it's not a place, it's a journey, an experience. It was lovely all having you here today. I hope to see you next time on Quantine Garden.